Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 3rd of May 2025. It is still Saturday but there isn't much time left on the clock for Saturday in here in Thailand. Uh, we're almost out of Saturday and into Sunday but it's my Sudoku at bedtime game. And uh, I'm going to, as a supplementary puzzle, I have chosen the LA Times hard level puzzle for this evening and uh, it is in fact uh, World Press Freedom Day today as um, codified by UNESCO uh, and uh, it's a really important thing that um, journalists are, are being murdered uh, in, tw in 2024 last year at least 124 journalists were killed while doing their jobs in various countries although uh, Palestine was a major area for loss of life. Um, but it's not just that um, reporters are being killed. Uh, it's also the fact of the restrictions and free, uh, you know, the uh, the restrictions that are being placed on them by ever more authoritarian governments. Um, and uh, of course, we are seeing terrible things in the U.S. with uh, uh, Trump trying to. Um, defund NPR and uh, PBS and that kind of stuff um, uh, and of course uh, ha has uh, kicked out uh, reputable news organizations like the AP from daily briefings because uh, because they refused to call it the Gulf of America instead of the Gulf of Mexico and installed right-wing um, non-media people basically they're just uh, you know talking heads from right-wing websites um, to uh, take the place, to take their place, um, you know this is this is dreadful. Um, so, what is what can be done about the press? The problem, the other problem is that you know a lot of people don't trust the media when it, don't trust the press, um, and partly that's because of the coverage that has been disingenuous. Uh, people feel. Now, of course, uh, if you're watching Fox News, <laughs> you'll get nothing but lies. And worse than that, it many times, is omission. You just simply won't find out about so much stuff. Uh, what can be done? I think um, there needs to be, the public needs to be able to trust media organizations. So I think that uh, media, organiza media organizations that consistently lie, I'm not talking about, you know, people that make a mistake here or there, but people who consistently lie over and over again, such as uh, Fox did about Dominion um, uh, voting machines and the other OAN and Newsmax or whatever they were, uh, did the same thing about voting machines. Uh, you know, organizations that consistently lie have to face penalties and they, the penalties have to be not just financial for the company because... That is just something they can just dis you know dis disappear and dismiss very quickly. I mean, look at Murdoch's massive organization. Uh, he can just pay, they just pay fines and then forget about it. No, it has to be news executives themselves have to be held accountable, and uh, that means you know po possibly personal fines or other other. Um, What's the word? Disincentives of a of a legal kind. I mean, I, I don't know if we should go as far as prison, but maybe probation, uh, suspended sentences, or prison, or, so, or 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 probation, or something like that, um, needs to be seriously considered. Um, for but uh, the other flip side of the coin is that what we can't have is just rich people, like as happens sometimes in the UK, rich people just using the laws of libel or something like that to to take people to court and then holding up court cases for years in some cases and and the uh, opposing party just runs out of money so that means uh, you know cases of slander or libel um, can be can be won just by the party that has a lot of money and is willing to invest in a lot of legal shenanigans to delay the case uh, so there needs to be some other kind of system you know like uh, some independent organization or something like that in different countries that needs to look at what's being done and and this has to be fair and this 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 organization needs to be non-sackable because <laughs> non-fireable because that's the problem isn't it is that governments come in and they you know they don't like 
what no government ever likes the press have you ever met a government a, a governing party that loves the press i don't think so um they're always trying to uh, you know fight back against the press and deny the truth when truth is told every government on the planet does this and so um there needs to be a proper independent um, panel or something like that that can try to uh, assess whether things are being done correctly or not, fairly or not. I think that's the point as well, isn't it? Fairness. But mainly, uh, you know, is there evidence to back up stories? Uh, unfortunately, a lot of news has just become opinion. Um, and I would r much rather have proper facts rather than opinions. Opinion is... I, I can give you my opinion, right? And you can discard it very quickly. That's okay. But I'm not claiming to be a news reporter here. I'm just giving a, a quick... Uh, just giving my views very quickly. All right, let's get on with the game of Sudoku now then. So, as I say, Los Angeles Times hard-level puzzle here. I did play the expert earlier on. We've got threes blocking as shown, and that's going to give me a three in that square, and that's how I'm going to begin today. We've also got eight blocking down here, down here, and across there. So that's going to put an eight into that square. Eight blocks across here, and that's going to put eight somewhere up here, which will go back in the left direction. And that's going to give me eight in that square there. Eight blocks down here, uh, uh, sorry, across and up. And then if we go in this direction, we can see eight has to be in one of these three squares here. So that can't possibly be eight, can it? Eight must go in that square there. We've got nine blocking down here, down here, and across there. So we can say that our friend there must be a nine. We've got five up here, five down there, five across here. So we get ourselves a five in that square. We've got five across here and up here. So five is in one of these two squares blocking down. Five this way, five that way, there's a five. We've got fives across here, across here, and down there, so there's a five. Um, so, all right, let's uh, wander around uh, slightly more orderly. Okay, we've got six across here and six down there, so there's a six. Six across here and six up there, and there's a six. Six going up to the top twice, meaning that's a six there. Six across here and six up there, so another six we can place there.
9 blocking up to the top here, 9 blocking across here, so 9 is either here or here, blocking up, and then the 9 across there, there's our 9. <coughs> 3 blocks across here, that has to be a 3 then. 3 blocking this square, 3 blocking these two squares, so in the bottom row, there's our 3. 3 blocking up here, 3 down there, and there's a 3. Three across this way, across this way, and down here. This could well be the last of the threes. No, it's not. Uh, that's because we've got another one down here. That is the last of the threes. <coughs> uh, okay, missing. Okay, in this column. Uh, we've got two blocking down here, so we know that two is in one of these two squares here. So this can't be two, can it? And we've got one blocking there, so we know that that has to be a one and a two. It means that that is a four, and that is a four, and that is a four up there, and this is a one. Like I said, one and two down here. So we've got one and seven in those squares, and we've got anything over here? No. We've got 2 and 9 in those squares there. Anything over here? No. All right, so what's left in this section here? Um, 2, 6, 7, I think. Any? Oh, absolutely nothing. <laughs> how about that? All right, how are we doing on this right-hand column over here? What are we looking for? We've got 1s down here. Uh, what else are we looking for? 1, 7, and 8. 8 blocking there. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we've got six and nine over here. So what else do we know? We've got fives up there. We've got nine. Okay, here we go. Nine blocking up here. Oh no, six and nine there. Sorry. Almost messed it up again. We got ones in those squares there. We've got twos there. Six, nine, one, two, five, seven, fives are there, sevens, I can't say just yet. Okay. All right, let's go back through the numbering scheme again, I think. No, I don't need to. I've got four across here, four across there, and four down here. So that's a four. Four blocking this square, and four blocking this square as well. So that's the that's the four there in the bottom row. This these two fours are blocking those two squares. I should have said. So we got one, two there, one, two there. That's going to have to be a one or a two. And yeah, seems to be okay. Mm, we've got all of these two, two, three patterns, if you know what I mean. Like this, we've got two on that side, we've got, or two, two, two in this case, but sometimes two, two, and three. So we've got two that, like this, two like this, and two like this. Two, two, two. Can't do anything about it. We get right the way around to nine, though, and we can do something. We've got nine blocking like that, and we get ourselves a nine in that square, and that's enough to finish the game. Nine across, that's going to give us nine up here. And this will be a seven. 
Uh, so we're looking for one and two here. So we've got one blocking this square. So that would be the one. That would be the two. That's the two there. Uh, we can see what's missing in this row. We're looking for seven and eight. So this is going to be not seven or eight. Uh, it's a one, isn't it? There we are. So we've got one blocking up here, one across there, one across there. There's our digit one. One blocks this square down here. So that's our one. That's our two. That's our two. Two blocking up here, across here, and across that way. There's another two. Two down here, two up there. There's two. And over here, two across, two down here, two down here. Is this the end of the twos? Yes. All right. Uh, so what else? How are we doing on one? Can we get the ones? Not quite. Can we get the fours? Yes, four down here, four across there. There's a four. Four blocking up here, four across there. That's the end of the fours. How are we doing on five? Now five... Five, five, five blocks across here and five up there. So there's a five. Five across here and five blocking up there. Five is finished. Let's try six. Uh, mm, can we, can we, can we? I think not yet. Let's try seven then. Seven blocks across here. So that's a seven. There's one more digit in this row. Uh, that's an eight, I think, and the missing number here is seven. Seven blocking down. There's a seven. This will be uh, an eight, I guess. And what are we still left with? Six. No. Nope. Seven. Yes, seven blocking down. There's a seven. And seven blocking down here. There's our seven. And this will be six. Six blocking up, there's the six. Six blocking down, there's the final six. This up here has to be nine. And what are we looking for? Eight blocks across here like that. So there's our eight. Missing digit here, one. One blocking back there, there's our one. The last number to place there is seven. That's our hard level Sudoku puzzle from the LA Times over for Saturday. I'll see you Sunday tomorrow. Oh, it's also, it's a, it's a holiday here in Thailand on Monday, bank holiday, another holiday. So uh, I should have plenty of time to play games on sun tomorrow and uh, tomorrow and on Monday. Thank you. Bye-bye.